People know a lot of car-centered animes such as Initial D, One Gun Midnight and the freshly released MF Ghost. And of course, there are already tons of LEGO creations for these ones already. So me and I only decided to surprise you with something unusual and never seen before. The plot of the series is simple. It's future. Nobody drives their own cars. AI does it. And sometimes AI cars cause problems by becoming rogue. So governments created teams of drivers who drive regular cars to save the day. Of course, I don't want to turn this video into an anime review, so let's see the models. First is Lancia Stratus HF, owned by Lisa Sakakino, but it's not built yet, let me first fix it. While I'm busy assembling the car, I want to talk more about why I decided to choose this anime to make cars from. First the cast, while one and Midnight and Initial T are mostly about GDM vehicles, X-Driver had some really cool hidden gems, and some of them never were built before using LEGO. Of course, Lancia was built before countless of times, but I wanted to do something unique and different from other designers. So, here it is. It's built using dark azure instead of blue, because blue didn't have mudguard pieces I needed and I wanted to add a new color to my collection of builds. Of course, it fits too many fix, thanks to new modern Speed Champions base. Other than that, I wanted to change it with my idea of how to build a Lancia is windscreen. Older marks used that ugly windscreen that didn't match the shape of the car and before you ask yes, I tried the new unprinted windshield from Pagani Utopia set and it didn't work well. It also required stickers to add the details such as A pillars and some other details I wanted to add. But I really wanted to make this project without using any stickers to make it a bit more cheaper for people to build. And if you already noticed, instead of doing it the old way with using windscreen, I used wretched pieces to create the A pillars and some plates to create the roof. Other than that, I also had a huge challenge with making the rear of the car, as I wanted to make spoiler with not just using cheese slopes, but with a 1x8 tile instead. For the taillights, I used a sort of new saucer pieces and they worked out really, really good. And also for this model, I use this new CD tires to make the wheels feel a bit larger. Sadly, there are no functions in this vehicle. It serves as a truly unique and legendary car and I'm happy that I could recreate it with that amount of details. And before I forget, high quality PDF instructions for this model can be bought on my Brickable page or Brickwith. But it's time for my partner Aeroli to tell about his own model that he made for collab. 大家好,我是来自台湾的乐高设计师 Aeroli 这次很荣幸能够参加伊利亚所举办的 X-Driver合作 这台Lotus Europa Twin Cam 有着相当特殊的设计 像是两个大大的眼睛 扁平的身形, 以及接近箱形的尾部设计, 就好像最近很流行的萨卡斑甲鱼一样, 这样的外形设计已经不符合当今的审美观，但也有着一种异样而优雅的美。让我们首先来看看这个憨憨的车。这里我是使用了简单的hinge plate 来创造出扁平却有斜度的车前盖。进气口则是使用了1x3的 round plate 还原出圆润的外形，并且用了一点 start to start 的技巧。将两边的车头部件往前拉至于引擎室以及尾部都是完整的 以上就是这台车的介绍，希望大家能够喜欢这台乐高版的 Lotus Europa Twin Cam。
在这次的设计中，我尽可能保持着原车的独特造型和经典的细节，让它不仅具有外观上的还原度，还能展现那种复古而优雅的风格。如果您喜欢这个作品，又想支持我的创作的话，请私讯我的 Instagram 账号 i l e l e g o Creation。目前 PDF 说明书仅售五美元哦。And now for the last model in the lab. We have a Galham Super 7 GPE owned by Sochi, which we both designed for this collab. How did we do it? We split the model in half, and each one of us developed the, his part of the model. I did the back part, while the Iroli did the front. Then we connected those parts, did some tweaks to make the model a bit more sturdy, and boom, the first Speed Champion scale Super 7 was born. And of course. We made it so it would fit two minifigs. Because I was responsible for the rear part, I just had to make the interior as detailed and functional as possible. So it also has a gear stick and a steering wheel. No matter the size, it can be easily replaced with a bigger one. But then, the minifigure won't fit. The funniest thing about this one and only feature of the model is that the technique used to fit two minifigs is the same one like in my key car builds. We also wanted to make it more detailed by including the front mudguards in the build, and thanks to this part, that allowed us to combine the connection for the headlight and mudguards. We also did it. This build was also a challenging one because we wanted to use motorcycle wheels for the front axle, as they were more accurate. And thanks to a tip from Brickling on Instagram, we could achieve this effect, as he used as the same technique for his magnificent vibrant yellow 400Z. And also because of this technique, model can roll, which is a bit of a bummer, but as a display piece, I think it's perfect. And I think we did a great job recreating this exotic British car. Also, being a car nerd, I am. I decided to find some of the cars in real life, and found a Cutter Hum on sale. Thanks, Guido, for letting me see this car in real life. And before I move to the final of the video, I want to surprise you. Instructions for Cutter Hum are free. Just use the link in the video's description to download them and build your own Cutter Hum. In the end, I think me and I really did a great job together, bringing these pretty hidden cars to life using Lego bricks. And if you've been following me for a while, you already know that I already collaborated with Ioli in MF Ghost Lab. And I guess you might see more collaborations on this channel in the future. And so you won't forget. All the links are in the video's description. Have fun, keep on building. And see you next week, guys.